The LA Lakers are NBA champions. Good for them. What is really important is I was exactly right on my NBA Finals prediction. Lakers and six. So congratulations to me. I think I deserve a like on this video. Speaking of this video, what is up you guys? Today, I want to look at a few possible destinations for Anthony Davis this fall. It is a weird subject since pretty much nobody had mentioned this upcoming free agency, but here we are. The 2020 offseason is finally here, and AD will probably be a free man, assuming he opts out of his contract that is set to underpay him. The 27-year-old is coming off of one of his best seasons in the league, putting up 26 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 1.5 steals, and 2.3 blocks per game, shooting 50% from the field, 33% from deep, and a career-high 84% from the foul line. Everybody in the league could use Anthony Davis on their team, and for many, I believe it pushes them into championship contention. There are two asterisks we have to make note of before I get into my picks. The first has to do with the Greek freak. Giannis Antetokounmpo will be a free agent next summer. Very few players are more highly sought after than Davis, but Giannis is one of them. Just about every team in the league is trying to keep the cap space open for 2021 so they can put their best foot forward in trying to sign him. It is my opinion that if you take on Davis, you are taking your name out of the running for Giannis the finances would be far too bloated. Speaking of the finances, the second note is that the cap space may be lower this year due to the hiatus the league went through. I don't think it will be much lower, but it still will be lower. I think Davis will sign a one plus one contract as a result of this. This means the first year is fully guaranteed, then on the second year, he could have the option to opt out and become a free agent once more. There are pros and cons to this contract for everyone involved. The pros for Davis are that he has the opportunity to make great money and be on a winning team next year no matter what. The con is if he gets hurt or takes a step back in on-court effectiveness, he may be forced to stay on a bad team for the reason of money. For the team, the pros are they're not locked down long term and they have a great player in their prime. The con is if that player gets hurt or regresses, they are most likely stuck with them another year. And if the player does ball out but the team falls short of a championship, that player may bounce. When going through the league's contract situations for 2021, I only attempted to insert Davis on teams with less than $105 million guaranteed. I believe this would give Davis a minimum of about $30 million per year, which in my opinion is fair and honestly a little conservative. He probably wants 40 plus million, but I'm not sure that will happen this offseason. So now, without any further exposition, please like the video and let us dive into my top 5 possible free agent destinations for Anthony Davis in no particular order. First up, I have AD signing with my favorite team, the Phoenix Suns. Let me just say this, I do not think this will happen, but let me dream. Last season, the Suns finished only half a game out of the 8th seed, nearly making the playoffs for the first time since 2010. It was so stinking close to being a Cinderella story, but the Trailblazers had to ruin it. The biggest weakness of the team last year was the power forward position. Do not get me wrong, I am a big fan of Dario Saric, he is a fun guy to root for, but Davis would be a massive improvement. The starting lineup of Ricky Rubio coming off of his best season, Devin Booker coming off his best season, Kelly Oubre coming off his best season, Davis, and DeAndre Ayton coming off his best season would be amazing. In case you do not notice, each of these guys are on the rise and the team is right there already. I know this Suns team would be a playoff contender and I want to see it happen badly. Plus, Davis and Booker are both Kentucky guys, so perhaps there is a behind-the-scenes friendship we are not aware of. Next up, a move that would shock many, as this is a team who has had their name in the Giannis rumor mill all season long, even despite their near-championship run. I have AD signing with the Miami Heat. The Heat are right there. They are two games away from winning it all, and if it were not for the devastating injury to Goran Dragic, there may be a completely different storyline in the news right now. Jimmy Butler is a win-now star entering his age 32 season. He does not have any more time to wait. 
This addition, along with re-signing Drogic, would create a starting five of Drogic, Butler, Duncan Robinson, Davis, and Bam Adebayo. The team would have won it this past year. The Heat would be fools for waiting on the chance to sign Giannis. Their time is now, and with AD, I think they reach the top. My third idea is one I would not recommend to Davis since it never goes well for any player, but I have Davis signing with the Sacramento Kings. The Kings are one of the very few franchises who make the Suns look competent, but even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then and their nut has been De'Aaron Fox, a 22-year-old borderline all-star with room to grow, and he is on a team-friendly deal. Anthony Davis plays best running with an elite point guard. This combination would take both to new heights. The first five in Sacktown would be Fox, Buddy Heald, Harrison Barnes, Davis, and Marvin Bagley. A healthy balance of win now, prime players, and youth. This is a sleeper destination in my opinion. Nobody is talking about it, but if it were to happen, the league would flip upside down. Number four is another very unlikely move, but not impossible. I have Davis headed home, back to the New Orleans Pelicans to play with those former young Lakers and reunite with his old teammates. This would be a big old middle finger to LeBron in LA and would make for some great TV, but I do not think AD is this kind of guy. You cannot deny the talent in Louisiana though. Brandon Ingram is an all-star who does a lot of LeBron-like things on the court at a much younger age, and Zion Williamson is supposed to be the next best thing since sliced bread. If Davis returns home and the team remains healthy, it will be one of the best betrayals slash revenge stories ever. Their first five would include Lonzo Ball, Drew Holiday, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, and AD. Lots of lobs and dunks. Okay, it is time for me to take off my 2K glasses and give you guys my honest opinion of what will most likely happen this offseason. I think Anthony Davis will sign a 1 plus 1 deal and remain with the LA Lakers. They just won it all. They are the best team in the NBA. Why would he leave? Well, I have explained why, but yeah. Don't fix what ain't broken. As it stands today, the Lakers are set to pretty much run it back next season. Kuzma and Caruso will be another year older and hopefully better, but all the other guys are on the bad side of 30. LeBron in particular will be 36. I don't think this is the best choice, but I think it is the most realistic. So there you have it, my thoughts on where Anthony Davis should go this fall. A lot of fun possibilities are out there and I want to hear your guys' ideas. Also, I apologize for ruining my weekly upload streak. I am currently working on a very large video and it is taking a lot of time to put together, so I figured I would get this one out in the meantime. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more basketball content. I will see you all next time.